with it? No. Yes. Well, it's a crypto exchange. They exchange crypto, and they pay people for things. Uh, how much do you think an, an engineer gets to work on the back end of Coinbase? One. F- one of one of five. One hundred sixty thousand dollars for a back end engineer at Coinbase. Whoa. A senior engineering manager gets two hundred sixty thousand. A senior recruiter, which is interesting, gets one hundred fifty five hundred thousand. That's what I made this month on my Shopify store selling clown T-shirts. I'm 14. I can't even <laughs> add that to my bank because I don't have an account yet. I need my mom's permission. Learn how I did it. Only here on <laughs> by my <Disney>. course. <laughs> <laughs> the money goes straight to my mom's account. <laughs> I've made six hundred thousand dollars in one month. My course is only sixty dollars. I'm what do you 13. <laughs> I have 80 YouTube channels <laughs> pumping me a million dollars a month of passive cash flow. <laughs> Learn how I did it here. My course is twenty dollars a month. There are some kids out there that are really impressive with their online business skills it's true it's, it's true. really fascinating it's true. really fascinating i mean it's the digital lemonade stand yeah this people work crazy it's lemonade. like just like it's like the money some of these these youngsters make yeah like literally like dwarfs what their parents whatever dream of making it is it's crazy while mom is working at the grocery store making 35k Little Aiden, 12-year-old Aiden is pulling 60K a month selling fidget spinners on Facebook. So according, according to Business Insider, Visa on the low end pays a blockchain developer $77,000. It's egregious. That's pretty low. <laughs> That's quite egregious. Yeah, you can make more, honestly, being... Lower management in and out burger. <laughs> uh, the highest number that Business Insider has, um, three hundred thousand dollars for something for a financial analyst of a deal partner distributed systems in crypto. But also, if you're a blockchain startup, how much money do you really have? A startup to like pay like people. You're probably like it, you could give them some equity. A startup? I mean, are you VC backed, bro? Because people love pumping into into crypto projects right now. E, let's say you're VC backed and you have ten million dollars, but you need like thirty engineers or something. What do you need thirty engineers for? I don't know. Maybe you just got that product. Sixty times thirty. Sixty times thirty. I don't know. I literally, guys, just outsource to India, like. Come on, what are you doing paying people in America for? It's expensive to live here. Can't afford to pay, can't afford to pay these people. <laughs> it's a not uh cripple the American economy, maybe. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Are you gonna hop ship to a different economy once it's in shambles? I don't slow, I don't, slow decrease. I don't have any advice to the people that refuse to learn the skill with the changing times. Sure. How does that fare for the American economy? You never know. It could be riddled with abundance. That money, all that money that could be made creating products for cheap could be like used elsewhere in society. Possibly. I, don't know. I like the, I like the uh the mindset of abundance. That is something though, man, that people think about. If you're I mean, I guess Apple's done it obviously, but if people are making small businesses or even just products um does it go back into American economy? Hmm. Or is well, the world just getting more and more global? And how does that fare for, for countries that have uh, made surpluses via moats? Well, here's, a, here's an, an okay example. Okay, I love okay examples. Uh, I was doing some research on animation. Yeah. So animation, all the pre-production takes place in America. The writing, the storyboarding, the art, the coloring, all that stuff takes place in America. And then they send all those files usually to Korea or some other Asian country where they fill in all the frames. Usually it's like in America, they'll do like 
one every 12 or one every 24 frames. So in Asia, they're filling in everything else. And it takes like six months because you need like a team of a lot of people to do like a 30 minute episode of a show. And it's really expensive to pay people in Los Angeles. So since the sixties, they've been doing it that way. So in return, you're producing a show for cheap. And if the show is like really popular, like, I don't know if you make the Simpsons or family guy or Rick and Morty or SpongeBob or something that in return can create jobs because people are spending money on SpongeBob merchandise. People are watching the show and the show is like bringing in advertising and that's like creating abundance for other businesses, you know, kind of like, or kind of like a ripple effect. It's kind of like a splash. I'm not sure uh, how expensive it would be to pay all those people to be in America, but I'm sure it'd be quite expensive. I'm sure networks are would could only afford to make like two or three shows as opposed to like 12 at a time. Sense. Do you watch a documentary or something? What's your, what's your source? I just watched uh, I just watched a new show on Netflix and I was like, it sparked my shit in animation again. I was like, okay, let me nice. watch some shows on YouTube. Nice, nice, nice. There's some shit on YouTube, but yeah. The history of animation. Yeah. And that also creates more, uh, competition in america because the very few animation jobs that they are there are you're only going to get the best animators so that's kind of what i was saying about open sourceness making competitive even more competitiveness competitiveness even more competitive if everything's global everything's collaborative and less nations just kind of working inside of nations like china did in whatever years they they did that until they expanded globally uh then do you create more competition probably i don't know let's see uh let's see any other headlines any other things you're thinking of i have um 